Hey everyone, it's Dee here from CoinKite, and today we're going to be showing you how to create a 2 of 3 multisig with 3 cold card queues. Before we begin, you're going to want to sign into your cold cards so that we can export the public keys. With your first cold card, insert the microSD and go down to the settings menu. Select multisig wallets, then select export xpub. Hit the enter button, hit it again, and press 1 to save it to the SD card. As you can see, the first XPUB has been saved to the microSD card. Now we're going to take the microSD card out of the cold card queue and insert it into the second cold card queue and repeat that process again. Now we have the first and second XPUB saved onto the microSD card. We're going to take it out and insert it into the third cold card to create the multisig. Now we're going to go back to that settings menu on the third cold card, again into multisig wallets, and now we're going to select create air gapped. Since we have all three XPUBs in one place, we can create the multisig the way we want. You can do a two of three, three of five, one of two, whatever you want. You can press seven or nine to change that. We're creating the default two of three, so we hit enter, hit enter again, and the cold card will save the wallet configuration file. Now we're gonna press one to save that multisig file onto our SD card. It's been saved as a text file. It's gonna ask you if you'd like to save a JSON file as well. We're gonna press one to do that, but not necessary. Now hit enter to go back to the main multisig screen. Now we've saved the multisig configuration file onto the SD card, and the third cold card knows about the multisig wallet. Now we need to relay that information to the first and second cold card. We're going to take out the micro SD card from the third cold card and insert it into the second cold card. From here, we're going to select import from file, and we're going to select that text file to import the multisig configuration to this cold card. Once you hit enter, it will save the information onto the second cold card. Now that it's saved, we're going to repeat that process for the first cold card. We're going to take out the micro SD card, insert it into the first cold card, and import from file. Now that we've successfully imported the multisig configuration into all three cold cards, now it's time to set up our companion app like Sparrow Wallet. We're now going to take our micro SD card and insert it into our desktop computer. A quick note before we continue, if you want to import the descriptor files in a different way, you can use the QR code method instead. Select import from QR for the cold card that doesn't have the descriptor saved. Next, go to the second cold card that has it saved and go into that multisig file. You can click descriptors, export, then hit the QR code button. The QR code should show up and you can scan it with the other cold card to import the descriptor. This is just another way to relay that information without using the SD card. Now we're looking at Sparrow and we want to import the wallet. Select Import Wallet, find the cold card multisig option, and select Import File. We're going to select the Export CC 2 of 3 text file and hit Open. Now it's time to name the wallet. Click Create Wallet. You can set a password if you'd like, but I'm not going to set one. Now you've successfully imported your multisig wallet into Sparrow. If you go to the settings tab, you can see all three cold cards. You can see each extended public key. You can see how many signers are needed and other information. Another quick note, if you wish to import the wallet via QR instead, on your cold card queue in the multisig file, select cold card export and press the QR button to display the QR code. You can use your computer's camera to scan a QR code from your cold card queue and import that multisig file into your companion app. Now that our wallet is funded with some sats, let's send some Bitcoin to ourselves. We're going to copy this address and go to the send tab. Now we paste the address, create a label, 
select the amount we want to send, setting our fee rate, and selecting Create Transaction. Hit Finalize Transaction, and now we're saving that unsigned transaction onto our SD card for our cold cards to sign. If you prefer the QR code method, you can go to Show QR, and you can scan that QR code using your cold card queue. Make sure you click Show BBQR at the bottom. Now that I've signed this transaction with two of my cold cards, I'm going to import the signatures using the scan QR code method in the bottom right. Here's the first signature being imported. And here's the second. If I'd like, I can broadcast this transaction, but now we're going to show you the SD card method. We're now going to plug the micro SD card into our first cold card to get the first signature. We click ready to sign and then we'll click enter to sign the transaction. The transaction is signed and there's a new PSBT saved to the micro SD card for us to unplug and insert into the next cold card. Time to repeat the process, but we're gonna select the updated PSBT to sign for the second signature. Now the transaction has been signed by both signatures and we're ready to import it back into our companion app. From here, we're going to select Load Transaction. Click the multisig part2.psbt file and hit open. Both of the signatures are uploaded and now we're ready to broadcast. And that's it. You successfully broadcasted a transaction through your multisig wallet and signed with the appropriate signatures. For more information or to make a purchase, go to coinkite.com.